Hello folks, today, more 1v2. Okay, so, I accidentally recorded 2v2 because I'm actually dumb without a teammate. I was gonna like, kinda like let them win the game, but I didn't wanna screw my teammate over, so I've, go I've gone ahead and won this game, okay? Yes, that is not 1v2, of course. I was gonna like throw the- Okay, so now we're actually starting the 1v2. I did show a little bit of that 2v2 game which I played. Okay, let's just move on. Look, if we, like, it's everything's gonna even out anyway, right? Everything's gonna even out. If I can't win, I can't win. If I win, I win, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not the end of the world, is it? Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, yeah. Oh, okay, that's not a good start. Why is he pre the high hit there? I guess I could just thought I was gonna reset. Let's go, let's go, yeah. Boom. Boom. Alright. So. Remember to keep talking. Kyle. Okay. When the kick off, boom. Let him. Okay, yeah. That was a bit of a. Uh... Looked like he wasn't gonna hit, but he actually hit, you know? Okay, well. Yeah, go. Cool. Of course, I could have instantly shot and scored. This also does a trick. I think I would like to make some tutorials in the near future, to be honest. I will make some tutorials, yeah. I'm also improving myself, but... I will make a, a kickoff tutorial again in some tutorials. Okay. Not right now, though. Like, because I'm doing this, obviously, but... Yeah. I think kickoff is a... R I think I actually already did a kickoff tutorial. It might have been deleted from my channel. It's a definitely a good possibility. I'm not sure. I need to check. But I can make an updated one. Cause I was probably using arrow left and right in that kickoff tutorial, bro. I don't know. Like, I'm not saying that makes it useless, but like, I'll make a proper one. I'm not gonna make a proper one. No, I'm not saying the arrow left and right is wrong, bro. No, it's probably better for most people. It's just what, like, how I will be able to explain it better because I've got a better understanding of the control scheme. Okay, just make that clear. I'm not saying the arrow left and right is at all worse. I could also make a video about arrow left and right and normal arrow and and because I, I actually have them probably like good viewpoint because I have had many thousands of hours of experience with normal arrow and I've also had thousands of hours of experience with arrow left and right and I can talk about like some things and like, give you a different perspective on what many people might tell you. Um, yeah, it's just a pre it's a preference thing. Seriously, there's not not anything's better than another. Air roll left and right is not better than normal air roll, and normal air roll is not better than air roll left or right. Genuinely. 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 You might say, well, surely if you can completely master air roll left and right, then it's better. No, because air roll, normal air roll is still... It takes, it doesn't take as many steps to do it. Like, it's... It doesn't take as much. Like, you can just hit a button and it does it, like, there is no better or worse option, it's just preference, yeah, no, there's no better or worse, I can't think he understands that, let's concentrate on the, on the matter at hand, I want to hit it just so I can get boost, and then see what happens, he's going to take time here, he was going to take time but he mucked up his flip, this is probably a goal actually, he should be able to score. Which obviously means that he doesn't score. I mean, I'm just gonna go here and assert dominance. I mean, it'd also be reasonable for me to not go there. But calculated aggression is the most optimal strategy. Because the best de- Shut up, I just- bro, these people- <laughs> Okay. The, the, the best- the best uh, defense is offense. The most ultimate form of defense is offense. If you can do that, then you're good. Uh, 
It's true if you think about it. If you think, what's, what's the best way to defend? The offense. That kind of sounds a bit weird, but if you actually think and think about it on that level, then, then yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't. Oh, I meant to say thanks, but it's bound different. Well, I'm just gonna let him go because I don't want to take a challenge in my own corner here because. Going in your own corner and taking 50s can be precarious due to the angles. So you just don't need to go there, you know? Take a better angle for yourself. Well, I mean, here I'm just gonna just wait for a set. I'm gonna take their boost. I'm gonna go on the wall and then get beat to the ball. Oh my god, he actually beat me to the ball. That's sad. I don't, I, don't, I don't see him like such a smart guy, no, duh. Uh. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have went on the wall then, simple. Now they actually speeded up probably a little bit. The opponents will match my pace as the game goes on. They will just naturally adapt. That's not in, luckily. That was honestly a good play, I mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna let, give space for myself. Give space and allow myself to save it. And my, I managed to swoop in around the back post, giving myself a lot of space. And when you're actually defending in your in your own half, you want to give yourself as easy as a time as possible. This is what defense is all about. Defense just comes down to position and then you just give yourself an easy time. You, people make defense complicated for themselves because they take the wrong routes towards the goal. Just take wide, wide movements, right? That's it. I got 110 boost pickups, that's fine. You want to do wide movements to give yourself enough time. If the ball is here, is it going to be quick to save it like that or easier to save it like that? Of course, you can give yourself double the time if you stay far away. Yeah? Of course, you need to you need to adapt on the fly, but you just keep this basic strategy in mind, then you'll do much better. I always say that I think like most people just... I'm going to be honest, I think most people just don't understand defense, so... I think people just don't know how to defend in this game. Like, they make it... They're always sitting in the middle of the net like a duck. You don't want to be a duck, you want to be like an eagle. Like, the, the eagle is better than the duck, right? You don't just want to be a sitting duck, you need to, like... Just wait and let them, just watch. Of course you need to go sometimes. It's... To be honest, playing ones is the best way to get good defense. You, you need to play ones in order to have really good defense. I mean, you don't need to do anything, but... 1v1 is the uh, the key, and in, in, in Rocket League 1v1 is the key. I got my strong defensive skills from playing thousands of 1v1 games when I was like 12 years old. Playing 1v1 all day, come on from school, play 1v1 for 6 hours in a row. You have, su have such an innate understanding of defense, it's like... That's it, like, you just play ones. I actually came to the conclusion that if you truly enjoy Rocket League, you will actually like playing once. But the 1v1 is the true test of the Rocket League player. If you don't like playing ones, then you don't truly like Rocket League. If you enjoy playing ones, then you are a rock you're a real Rocket League player. Yeah? And I know I hated ones for ages. But I went to it all left and right. I was like, I'm, I feel like uh, I feel like myself again on this on, on these on these binds. I, I feel like myself. I've gained a new appreciation for the game again. Yeah, because the only person who wants, like, ones is, like, the... It's good, bro. And I'm not playing twos right now, but... Just being on your own, like, if you don't like ones, you... You need to allow yourself to enjoy ones. You need to let go and allow yourself to enjoy it. Because I'm just, like, I was afraid to, like, do that, you know? This is what I mean, though, like, when I was 12 years old, I had the best mentality. Like, I'm trying to just have this mentality again. Sit and grind ones all day. The first day that I played Rocket League, I only like I only played ones like the first uh, like I don't know seven days that I played Rocket League. I don't know the first day that I played Rocket League, I played like thirty six one v one games in a row, just every one v one one v one. It's just this is the secret, bro. I mean, it's interesting. The Turbo is a four time world champion and he never played ones though. 
So that's also interesting that you don't really need it, do you, to win four world championships? Turbo was never a once player. Um, so you don't need one v one to be the best player in the world, but I think if you, I think it's not even about being the best player in the world or something like that. I think it's just the true essence of Rocket League, like that's what it is to me. The most pure form of Rocket League, you know. I mean, three v three to me is the ultimate game mode, and I think most pros will tell you that as well. Like when you're playing three v three at the highest level with a team that level of teamwork can, it brings you a greater satisfaction, but. 1v1 is like the purest though. Like the purest in this game mode, you know? I don't know, like, something like that. I mean, I'm just ranting about ones right now, but. Just keep this. He's gonna miss. I'm gonna miss as well. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I don't like this position that I'm in. Right, they could just score if they wanted to. I actually missed there, but I seen. I recognized that he was gonna miss. But also, I missed. So it's like a. We're on evens now. Would it be nice if I got that flick over him? That's not very nice at all. I'm gonna get the boost over the ball. So I can go here. I don't wanna get out, he's trying to bump me. I can hear the engine sound. Uh probably gonna concede there. I definitely should be conceded here, 100%. I had an opportunity to go two goals up, but I didn't take the opportunity. Okay. I'm not trying to get too big for my boots right now, I'm just trying to give commentary to be honest. Like, can you build one more commentary, you know what I mean? I'll try to get commentary. Alright, let's keep talking and keep talking. Right, I'm just gonna flick it up. I just need to remind myself to keep talking. I'm just gonna fake. Just let him hit it to me. Right, take time. Boom, what a flick. Demo. Just letting him know that I want to win the game. Just give him the demo after. Okay, we're just gonna... Not, nothing fancy, just try win. I've realized also what I should do to do this kickoff. I've realized like, someone actually made a comment and it made me realize like the optimal way to do that. When I used to do that kickoff back in like 2016, I used to do like a more in a hook way. Like I'd go more to the middle, so, if I was coming from the left, I'd swerve to the right and then hit the ball in the middle. Now, we're in 2024. I think the best strategy is to go completely straight towards the ball. You don't need to hook around as much. You can just take that more, slightly more optimal line. And I think that is the perfect, because you're going to get to the ball so quick because you don't have to change direction. You're taking the straightest possible route to the ball. And then you're trying to like, you're still using this hook strategy where you're trying to hook the ball around them. But you're not, I'm not making the adjustment to the middle. It should be a ample strategy to to win kickoffs. I said this game is a physics based game. If you want to win kickoffs, hit the ball in the center, get to the ball first. You're going to win 90% of the time. That's it. There's no secret to kickoffs. Just hit the ball in the middle. Get there quick. Here, I don't spawn like as quick, so. Like, boom, like. Just let them hit me. I right, will. All right. I actually could have not went there, you know. Okay, we want to retreat because we don't have a lot of boost and we don't have a lot of momentum either. And when you're on your own against two players, you don't have a lot of boost and momentum. Then you want to be getting boost and momentum. As I said in like the last video, like. The whole point of this, the whole point of the series is showing that you just need to keep momentum. This is the whole point of the series. You need to keep yourself on your feet. You can't just stand still and wait. You're just gonna be a victim. You gotta go, bro. I mean, like, this worked out good so far. He's gonna hit. I wanna take his boost. He's gonna try to bump me. 
So he's gonna unleash the strategy. Actually, when they slow it down, it's actually good because it it kind of forces me to slow down as well. Like that's the whole change in the pace of the game, which this is what I was complaining about in earlier videos that I don't like it when the opponents go slow. The reason I don't like them going slow is because they're actually dictating the pace of the game when they're just rolling the ball on the ground. You know, they they'd actually like this is actually problematic more because now I need to kind of wait and uh, and kind of adapt to what they're doing like. When my opponents are just chasing everything, I, I can actually use it to my advantage more and just rely on my superior speed to just beat them. But when they're slowing it down and take time, I need to be more careful. I need to be more careful. I, I need to be a little bit more methodical. Here, I need to respect my opponent. I need to wait. I can't instantly go. You see? Wait. They do a better job at controlling the pace, I think. This works as well, and then we're just gonna let him hit, and then wait. Just wait, 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 wait. I have a really good tip for defending, which will make you really good in defense. If you... This might be on. What are you doing, man? You idiot. You an idiot. What are you ruining the video for? Dumbass. You dumb man. Come on, bro, what the, what's this guy's problem? Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. I'd let them score, so it's irrelevant. Some, I say people, bro. So, sorry, bro, I don't understand. I'm gonna let you off here. That was actually brain dead, but okay. I give you one task, and you can't fall. Leave it, leave it next. I, I gave him a goal. I gave him a goal, yeah. I mean, I did the QTV to game at the start and win, but like. Okay, we'll get back to the topic of the video. Okay, the defense strategy that I was talking about. Yeah, that's a good strategy. When you're in defense and you're waiting for the opponent, right, you're gonna start getting nervous and you're gonna be like, because when you're in defense, time goes slower. Like, you're waiting for the opponent to dribble. This is a this is point in Rock League where you're waiting ages for defense and this is like the most intense point of the game when you're waiting. You should breathe. Just exhale. And just wait. And you will be able to uh, defend much better. Like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not, like, capping. Just use your breath and use the exhalation. And, like... And you can respond much more better because you're not responding through, like, emotion. You're not responding, like, through stress. You just relax. Bro, you will become so much better in defense with this one tip, bro. Yeah, that's just a, that's what I've realized recently now. This is what I realized recently. What I was actually doing when I was younger, which I didn't even consciously realize. Like, if you wait, like... I, I, I'm such a scum now, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's kind of made my point. I don't know why my mate's jumping at a goal. This guy's brain is... You, you, I swear people can't help themselves to just be stupid. Like, bro, just... just I, you, why, I know it's not the fault that I can see you, but why are you just sitting jumping out the net? I told you, you only have to stay in the net. Why are you jumping out the net? What are you doing? It's a, it, it, you said, like, what are you doing, man? If you, in the comments, you guys can join my uh, Discord server, and maybe if you think that you are capable of waiting in a net, then you can do this series, man. Seriously. If you think that you're capable, then you can do it, bro. But anyway, back to the point of the exhalation, yeah, I did concede there, and that kind of, you could say that makes my point irrelevant, but I think, even though I, I didn't save it there, which makes me look a bit stupid, I still think it's a really good strategy. Just breathe out and breathe in, and like, just, like, don't think, just focus on the exhalation, and then you'll be more relaxed at defense. I swear, I would let, I want the viewers, like, when you go play Rock League, like, just think about that. Just... Stay grounded. Just wait. Exhale. And that's it. We clap. We clap. I don't know what my mate was doing there, man. I mean, look. I clap. Thank you, bro. See, I can provide commentary while playing. I'm capable of providing commentary. I just want to show my MMR. We're 1513. I'm 1500 MMR. 1500 MMR, folks. So, I mean, look. Sure, you can learn something from watching this. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, everybody.
I'll see you next time.